We're coming to you live from the NFL Network newsroom with breaking news. NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport is reporting that the New York Giants and defensive end Jason Pierre-Paul have agreed to terms on a deal that's going to keep defensive end in New York for some time. 28 years old at the start of the 2017 season. He's already gone to two Pro Bowls going into year eight. Of course, lost a significant portion of his hand during a fireworks accident a few years ago. His franchise tag offer pulled. Here we've come all the way back to Pierre Paul having a bounce back season last year and getting a new deal with the Giants. So let's bring in NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. Now, Ian, what, what can you tell us about what this deal is and what it means for JPP? Well, first of all, Jason Pierre-Paul has flown into New York, had a physical this morning, and is going to sign his new four-year contract with the New York Giants. That is all going to happen today. That is what we know right now, still working on final numbers, but we do know that Jason Pierre-Paul was franchise tagged at about $17 million last month. The Giants deal expected to come in a little below that, but, but make no mistake, this is a big money deal for JPP and a fairy tale ending for the New York Giants. Just think about how far things have come. First they franchise tagged him, then he turned down a five year, $60 million offer with the Giants, then had that very unfortunate, difficult fireworks accident on July 4th, 4th week and a couple years back, lost a portion of uh, his hand and had to battle all the way back eventually, stayed with the Giants, ended up this year and really had a bounce back breakout season and now ends up with a long-term deal. And really the coolest thing about this is not how much money the Giants are signing JPP to, the, the contract that he's getting. It's that both sides stuck with each other throughout a lot of this. It took a lot of trust to get it done. And now finally there is a fairy tale ending on one of the most trying sagas we can remember in the NFL. Yeah, certainly a story there, Ian. If, if we look back from the lens of the start of last season, uh, for the Giants and Olivier Vernon coming in. They're spending the money in free agency. W would this be something that w would seem to be a surprise if we're looking at it from that point of view, that they would get to this point and have JPP coming back at, at this number that you're thinking it's going to be? Well, the Giants have always valued pass rushers, and that really is not a surprise. Going back to when they were winning Super Bowls, they always had their best players on the defensive line and getting after the quarterback. So that clearly is where they devote the resources. So I'm not surprised that even though they have Snacks Harris and even though they have Olivier Vernon, they still wanted to ante up and pay Jason Pierre-Paul. The other thing is this is an investment that is a long time coming for the Giants. This is a player they always wanted to pay, just needed to make sure that his performance lived up to the kind of value that they put on him. And that is exactly what happened this year as he became one of the more dominant pass rushers in the NFL. And so the Giants decided that this was a guy, a homegrown talent, someone that they wanted to reward, and that is exactly what they are doing this morning, and it should be official today. Yeah, the two-year anniversary of that fireworks accident coming up on July 4th.